Welcome to the carnival. Witness the wonders of the world. Step right up and test your strength and see the bearded girl at the carnival. You won't believe your eyes. Believe your second guessing. Guaranteed to mesmerize. Well, if you got the gold and want your fortune told, ladies from the world come to your soul. You're at the carnival. We'll take away your breath. Fill you full of goosebumps and we'll scare you half to death. Did you 
each and every one of you a little bit better, okay? Okay, first of all, I have a few questions for you. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Okay. Awesome, okay. And of course, what's your favorite ride here at Knott's? Yeah. Elvira, thank you. Good answer, good answer. Just remember, you have to be this tall to get in. Okay, and you know, I just wonder, are there any people here tonight with piercings, just stick out your tongue. Stick out. No? Piercings? No. I love piercings, I really do, but you know, I, the, the one that I don't get are the people that have those little rings, you know, all along the edge of their ear like that. It's like, kind of like they're walking around going, where my shower curtain at? <laughs> Anybody here tonight on a, on a first date? <laughs> How about last date? <laughs> okay, oh, lots of people, okay, good. Anybody ever date a circus performer? <laughs> Kinky one over there. I dated a circus clown once. It was intense. <laughs> he got it. Okay, you know what to do if you're attacked by a gang of clowns, don't you? Go for the juggler. Go for the juggler. Thanks for screwing that joke up. All right. <laughs> Oh man, look at this place. The lights, the music, the, the people. Isn't this awesome tonight? I just love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the time I went to the Grammy Awards, you know, and uh, exactly like that, as a matter of fact, except the TMZ's not here wondering how my rehab's going. But anyway. Okay, well, I have been a very busy, busy little bee lately. Uh, I have a lot of things coming up. First of all, my new record, Two Big Pumpkins. Hello. Um, that's out right now, written by Fred Schneider of the B-52s. And uh, yeah, you can get the music video online on YouTube, or you can get the record conveniently right across the street at my boutique. And um, also, let's see, I've got a couple of things on TV this week, tomorrow night being Halloween. I've got uh, Hulu and Hulu Plus, where I'll be screening my last of my 13 nights of Elvira tomorrow night with uh, Night of the Living Dead by George Romero. And, that's right, I'll be doing what I do best, which is, not that, guy. Uh, it's just hosting horror movies, that's right. So look for me on Hulu and Hulu Plus tomorrow. Also, today and tomorrow, you can find me on um, Funny or Die, hosting their Halloween anthology this year, whatever the hell it's called. And uh, also, let's see, tomorrow on The Talk on CBS. Yeah, so look for me there, I'll be... Mud Wrestling Sharon Osborne. It'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah, so uh, look out for those things. And uh, also, I don't know if you guys heard, but I just got back from a tour of the Middle East. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was Kansas, Missouri, and Omaha. <laughs> it's awesome. And I actually got to work with the real, actual Navy SEALs. I was training for the show here and the Navy SEALs were fantastic. But I tell you, I have never balanced so many balls on my chin at one time in my life. Okay, is there anyone here I haven't offended yet? Okay, I'll get to y'all later, don't worry. All right, ladies and Dobermans, I'm back with my big top. Yes, that's right. This time around, it's my kind of circus, the wild, the weird, and the what you call, Bizarre. That's right, I'll be pitching a tent for you ladies and gents. Well, maybe if you're gents anyway. I think it's already working for this guy. Uh, yes, and I've got some astounding acts for you that will amaze, mystify, and uh, astound you with some impossible feats. And speaking of impossible feats, will you check out these shoes somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk about impossible feats. My feats are killing me. 
Okay, our first act up tonight is a jaw-dropping act. The amazing, the breathtaking Brett Loudermilk. Yes, I know you're wondering. I did teach him everything he knows. Thank you. <laughs> but not everything I know. <laughs> okay, now I, uh, I know that you didn't come all the way out here just to see some fantastic acts. You came here to stare at my two big hypnotizers. Yay! Okay, everyone. Now, this is the part of the show where I want you just all to lean back Relax, take a deep breath, put your feet up on the person in front of you, and do exactly as I tell you. Everybody from the aisle over to that wall, I want you to stare directly at this hypnotizer. Everybody from the aisle over to this wall, stare directly at this hypnotizer. Okay, ladies and germs, here we go. Now, as the wheels begin to spin, 
Look directly into the center and do not look away, do not even blink. Let your eyes begin to relax and you will begin to notice a tunneling effect. Continue to stare and again, do not look away, not even for one second. If you do, I won't be able to take your wallet, I mean, put you into a trance. Keep staring. Allow your eyes to go deeper and deeper into the tunnel. I am now going to count backwards from 10, nine, eight, do not look away, seven, six, five, continue to stare, four, three, two, one, now look at my boobs. <laughs> wow, is that awesome or what? Oh, dude. And so much cheaper than plastic surgery, right? Yeah, okay, man. Did anybody uh, not see that my boobs just like increased about 10 cup sizes? Okay, well, next time come early and don't sit in the cheap seats. Okay. All right. Now that you are all memorized, uh, I mean, uh, uh, hypnotized or whatever. Okay, you are all under my control. You are all my puppets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, all right, ladies and germs, let's see right now, what is happening? I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm lonely. That's right. Damn it. I am so lonely. <laughs> yeah, I need some company up here. Down under. There you go. There you go. I was afraid of that. Hey. Yeah, I like down under. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, well, I think I picked the right guy. <laughs> Brian, okay. Um, are, uh, what? Brent. Well, how the hell am I supposed to understand? You're not speaking English right. <laughs> Brent. Okay, Brent. Brent. And okay, Brent. Uh, are you single? Yes, I am. Oh. Are you here with the? Uh, who are you? You're not here with your girlfriend tonight. No, I'm not. Not here with your mom. No, I'm not. Are you here with a hooker? No. Okay, well, right, okay, well, well, that settles that. Okay, now, Brian, um, what town are you from in Australia? Sydney. Sydney, oh, nice, nice. Oh, I've been to Sydney, I like it. Well, okay, and what do you do for a living over there in Sydney? I work for a bank. Oh, At the drive-up window? Yeah, yeah, a few bank jobs, yeah. Bank jobs? Wow, what, did you learn that in prison? Um, I can't. Uh, okay, okay. Well, all right, right. Listen, I know, I know because you're from Australia that you must love to play games. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Have you ever played Twister? Yes. Have you ever played Spin the Bottle? Does the bottle go the other way in Australia? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Have you ever played Russian Roulette? Uh, no. Good. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, well, I've got a little game we're going to play tonight, Brian. And what I've got here are six cards, numbered one through six, and you're gonna stand right back over there where I tell you to, damn it. No, come here. Okay. <laughs> and you are gonna get to pick the card, and this is how you're gonna do it. Now, on the back of these cards is an intimate little activity that you and I can do together. Right up here, on the stage in front of all these people. <laughs> and kangaroos and everybody. Oh my God, that, this one, okay. 
All right, now here's what we do. You okay, Brian? You're like, you're like herding cats. You won't stay put. Okay, you put, turn, turn around so the audience sees your front. There you go. Okay, now here's a cup for you. You hold that. I'm gonna give you a die. I'm gonna put the die in the cup. Cover it with your other hand. Shake it up real good. Now look in the cup and tell me what number you got. Number five. Number five, you are correct. Here we go, Brian, you ready for this? Brent, Brent, I keep calling you Brian, but let's just change your name to Brian. Okay, no, Brent, okay, all right. Okay, number five, here we go. Let's see what we're gonna do.